All right, let's get this one over with. Uh, needless to say, I'm really disappointed they brought back the digital media championship. We'll get to the belt here in a second, but we're going to talk the actual DMC, as Kenny King called it, if you will. I am all for a mid-card title. I was saying for quite a while you know, before this title got introduced, there are too many people on this roster fighting for nothing. So when they eventually let us know there's going to be a new title coming, I was really excited because I said, you know what? They need another title. They've never really booked a mid-card title very well in this company, but it's it's needed. Like, as much as you want to say X Division, no limits, they say that when it's convenient, but it's not something they really push. It's a cruiserweight division, okay? You have all these wrestlers because the top of the card was the same for a really long time. Josh Alexander, Sammy Callahan, Rich Swan a little bit, Eddie Edwards. You know, they kind of had the same, you know, Moose, which we like Moose in the main event, but it just felt like it was the same kind of handful at the top. And then in the middle, it was just nothing. They are just fighting to fight. So the digital media championship shows up, and universally people dislike the name. But they were trying to do something cutting edge and different, as they said. And they announced the tournament on, you know, digital media, digital uh, exclusive tournament. They're showing matches on YouTube. And the first match was Zicky Dice versus like ZSK or something like that. It was it, like they, they let us know right away. This isn't serious. And um, it hasn't been. And when I talk about the DMC, people message me or they respond to my tweets or whatever. They say, well, Kenny King elevated it and Joe Hendry and Brian Myers elevated. Did they? Did they? I think we enjoyed um, aspects of Brian Myers' title reign, of uh, of uh, Kenny King's title reign. And many people enjoyed aspects of Joe Hendry's title reign. Even though he's a really entertaining character, I, I thought it was a little... I thought his reign was a little bland personally. I'm not saying Joe Hendry is, but I didn't think he did anything for the title. You know, and the only title match that, that they ever had where I think people really cared about the winner was uh, when Brian Myers defended against Boopinder. And I think people really wanted Boopy to win. But other than that, you know, no one's invested in this title. And the cutting edge that they talked about, the digital media exclusive matches on different platforms, and that that never happened. And this title was going on two years of its existence. And Tommy Dreamer holds it right now. So digital media, which is probably geared towards a younger wrestler, a younger audience. You got your the oldest person on your roster holding it. Now, the matches that were actually pretty good were the dot combat mat matches. There weren't, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of uh, hardcore. I've said that a thousand times, probably more. But there was something about the dot combat matches, even though there was like a little bit of a comedy aspect, like they kind of worked, you know. And there's so much they could do with this. Like we could be voting on who's in the matches, what kind of stipulations, you know, it could be so interactive. They could build, you know, they could do something no one else is doing and, and build angles like on Instagram, Instagram live and, and stuff. There's just, I, I don't even care about the name of the title at this point. I just want it to matter. And then to do something and then them to do what they said they were going to do. So here is the actual digital media championship. This is really, really nice. I do commend them for wanting all the belts to look very different. Because if you look at all the angles and everything here, it is very different than the X Division Championship. It's better than the Tag Team Championship. Not better, I'm sorry, different. It is very different than those titles. But this does look very good. They were able to capture 
a little bit of the old title, you know, and then they updated it a little. So it is a, a beautiful title, uh, as they all have been so far. But this was a real big time whiff. Big, you know, they had a real opportunity here to give us something new, some kind of TV title, something that wrestlers want to wrestle for and care about and the fans care about. Now, the uh, feedback on this title, largely positive. I didn't really see anyone knock it. There was just, you know, the comments on the official Twitter saying, just why change the name, please, you know? You can never take a title seriously called the Digital Media Championship. That's like the Zack Ryder Internet Championship, you know? But if you do something with it and do what you said you were going to do, maybe people will care a little bit. But the fact that this title did return, the name returned, just lets us know we're in, we're in it for the long haul with this belt. You know, like uh, even the Grand Championship probably probably went on a year longer than it needed to. But when they had the opportunity to rebrand and make changes within the company, it was very easy for them to get rid of that title. And they had a golden, golden opportunity here. So clearly they believe that this is going to be something, or maybe they have ideas for it. But this is a prop title at this point to me. This is a toy belt. I, you know how wrestlers travel with their belts on the independent scenes? I bet this title stays with the uh, like the TNA equipment room. You know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say a room. Like, I, there's a there's a higher probability that Scott Demore travels with this title than Tommy Dreamer does. I just feel like it's it just has meant nothing. It is a prop to me. It's been a prop since day one. I'm open to having my mind change. I'm hoping them. I'm open to them blowing my mind and saying, "Yo, we we fucked this up. We screwed the pooch. This belt's been a complete goat rope." In 2024, we're gonna do the things we said we were gonna do. We're gonna do things other people aren't doing, and make this title unique and different. It's not even defended on on YouTube. You know, like there's it's nothing. It's a normal belt, except it means nothing. So I'm not sure what's up, what belt is coming out today. I think it might be the knockout championship. Uh, I'm sure that's going to look really nice as everything is done. The belt maker said the world title was his favorite. So I know that one's that's going to be big time um, when that comes out. But the belt here itself, still a nice belt. But golden opportunity squandered. You cannot get that back. And just... You know, buckle your freaking seatbelts because we're in it for the long haul with the Digital Media Championship.